Hello, Facebook, Internet, YouTube, whoever. Um, after my first couple videos on how to lift the front of a Grand Marquis Lincoln Town Car or a uh, Crown Victoria Panther chassis, whatever, I'm sure many other vehicles are the same when it comes to this. This is the rear end. Now, I've got the rear end out of this car because I just got it rebuilt and I just got it back. So it makes it extremely convenient for me to do the following. Uh, these lift kits include, in regards to the um, lift a brand lift cups, these are great and they work, but don't be caught hitting the bump and having the shit fall out on you and crashing your car because you didn't do it right. Uh, let's camera flip this camera around here. Step one is going to be clean up your contact surfaces. Now I go all the way around going to uh, I guess step one, that's step one. Step two, put it on there and you got to put it on in the right spot. I, there's a it, there's a gradual lip here all around the edge so it'll, it'll start to ride up on you and it'll sit in just the right spot. So if you just get it, I mean, it's sitting underneath the spring, so just get it as close to the middle as you can. Don't have it all funky. But uh, there's step two is get it on there. And step three is tack weld it in place. Make sure everything's right. And step four would be welding it in place. But uh, this is a little step five that I have done. I cut this original inside piece short because I wanted I wanted it flush with the top of the coil. But what I forgot about was the rubber grommet that's about a quarter of an inch thick and then the spring sitting on top of that. So this is now one inch of pipe from here to here is, is roughly one inch, maybe it's three quarter, I, I don't know. I just went to the shop. I went to a metal supermarket and they were happy to help me. I told them what I was doing. They wanted to see the car when I was done. Um, so this slides over the top, but it's also extremely convenient that I'm doing this. Even if I hadn't cut this inside short and I didn't have the Airlift 1000 airbags on the inside, that's why I cut them short. I didn't want this to rub a hole in the bottom of the bag. Um, I would have done this anyway because what happens is this takes up the extra gap that leaves your spring room to wiggle. This, these are universal cups. They're for Chevy, Ford, Dodge, whatever with a coil. This is just a coil spacer. This piece of metal, excuse me, um, this piece of metal is thick enough that the rubber uh, grommet uh, whatever it is, bushing that goes between the coil spring and the plate here, it, it keeps it from wiggling around because this inside pipe is too thin. So I've got my little caliper here, whatever the hell it's called. And for anyone curious, the inside of this pipe is. one point seven three or one point seven five probably closer to one point seven five yep one point seven five on the nose and the outside is two inch so that'll go to your local metal supermarket go to a welding shop go I don't know, any number of places and ask for a one inch piece of pipe and this is so snug I had to actually bash it on with a with a mallet or a, you know my heavy hammer um, but I'm gonna weld it in there anyway and then I'm gonna get the spring on there with that airbag inside it and I'm gonna make sure it all lines up and if it is I'm gonna grind this progressively shorter and shorter until it's flush with the coil 
So this, the top of this and the sharp edges here don't dig into that airbag that rests, that's inside the coil. Um, I opted to go this route so I have a little more control over my ride quality. Um, and I didn't feel like buying even more parts. <laughs> so that's about it. Uh, I'm going to try and get this thing back in maybe tonight, tonight maybe tomorrow. But uh, I thought I would share that and weld these in place. You don't want these things toppling out when you hit a big bump. And really get these. You don't want them rattling around while you're driving. Because uh, if you just have the spring, you don't have that rubber grommet. Th these will rattle. They'll rattle inside of here. Any, any wiggle room for the spring, as far as I'm concerned, is not good. Because on the top of the cross member on the frame, it's only a little dip that uh, it it's able to rest in. There's a rubber grommet for that too, but I don't think everyone has them. So any wiggling that you can eliminate is going to save you potential uh, dangerous situation. All right. Well, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Tacoma SRT5. We'll catch you later.